Hey guys, what is up? And Mikey A31 here on this edition of Madden 17 Hits and Misses. Going to discuss uh, run fits a little bit with some um, plays from a variety of online mutt games, as the backdrop here, run cut ups, I guess you can say. And as far as run fits are concerned, we really got to. Um, talk about the game pre-patch and post-patch because, you know, things changed quite a bit as the game was updated. When the game first came out, it was a run fest. Um, guys didn't really understand what run fits were or how they worked. And there were also some flaws within the run fit system as well, especially against 3-4 um, fronts. To the particularly get stretch and counter out of the 3-4 and also how secondary players were reacting uh, versus run. Some plays you had the uh, corners I can cover two being the force defenders as they should be. Um, some plays you had the safeties in uh, quarters coverage being involved in the run fits as they should be. On some calls, the uh, corners and safeties weren't involved in the run fit at all. Um, in cover three, you had the in-the-box safety involved in the run fit, obviously, but the corners were not. And also, you know, blitzes would impact the run fits as well. So all of this took a little while for most of the community to get used to. And overall, I think the run fits work pretty well. I really like them. And, you know, and that in conjunction with auto flip that I really like, it made sure that you had your uh, defense aligned soundly, which is half the battle. So, from that aspect, run fits, I feel, have been overall a hit. But there's still some issues there that need to be sorted out. Um, you still see some false steps being taken by your linebackers which allow um, runs to develop against some fronts that really shouldn't. It's one of the reasons why 8 in the box cover 3 doesn't really work all that well. Linebackers have a tendency to take some choppy steps or false steps or be slow to take steps at all before they hit their run fit and next thing you know you have a guy busting through your 8 man front. This was really pronounced a pre-patch, um, especially in the 3-4, the outside backers would drift inside for a stretch encounter. You also saw that issue in the 4-3 with overhang defenders, whether it was a um, in-the-box safety or an outside backer and an over or under front. There wasn't really a lot of force in that force offender. And as a result, the game became a toss, stretch, counter fest, and... The prevailing opinion was that, you know, those runs were overpowered. Now, I didn't necessarily share that opinion. Outside of the obvious flaws with the outside backers and the 3-4 and the overhang defenders uh, playing um, force and stretch assignments properly, I really felt the run fit system succeeded in making you have to be conscious of matching personnel and using your defensive line slants, pinches, fans, uh, shifts to play sound run defense. One of the great things about the uh, defensive line adjustments is that they change the run fits depending on how you change, how you want your defensive line to play. They're not static. So you could gap stunt for the first time in this game, ever. And there was none of this stopping the run out of quarter sets, out of dollar sets. Even, you know, nickel was tough to do if you didn't have the beef to do it. But then the patch came and we went back, I think, too far in the other direction. Post-patch, you don't really have to worry about setting up a sound run defense nearly as much, if at all. S. Gibbs, in um, a Twim episode, he stated himself, he no longer uses auto-flip because you don't have to do anything to set up run D. We went back to a game where slot corners are now linebackers. You see guys in the Madden Championship, they're using Deion Sanders and the nickel as a slot defender. When Deion Sanders can't tackle or take on a block with a dam, your slot defender, your slot corner has to be a guy who can stick his nose in there. But after that patch, a guy like Deion Sanders is not a liability against the run because now virtually anyone can set, can set an edge. Anyone can be a force defender. 
Except if you're playing goal line B, then there are no force offenders. Goal line B stops nothing, unless you do a massive, a massive amount of pre-snap adjustments. So we went too far the other direction. And then after the second update, it kind of swung the pendulum back a little bit. Not quite as good to what it was um, pre-patch, as far as being able to be more... Um, sensible with your run defense personnel, but not quite as freewheeling as it was after the first patch. It's kind of in the middle. But overall, I like the run, the run fit system. I hope it never goes away, and I hope they take it to the next level in Madden 18. I'd be surprised if that wasn't the case. So, that's my opinion on that. Would love to hear what you guys think, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.